Hi everyone, it's Ashante from TidbitsForWomen.com. Um, as you may or may not know, I am just one half of Tidbits for Women. My other half is Ms. Tamara Newton. She's my co-author and then she also helps with the website, articles, and interviews. So collectively, we are Tidbits for Women. So I thought I would just do a quick vlog or a tidbit talk on this month's topic, which is relationships. And in particular, we're talking about carnal relationships. We felt like it was significant for us to talk about this because we ourselves, or you know, I can speak for myself, have been involved in carnal relationships over and over and over again. And as a society, we see that there are lots and lots of carnal relationships. Many of them are epic failures. And I was like, wow, like, do people understand what a carnal relationship is? And do they understand what a true biblical relationship should look like? And so um, when I was doing some research, a couple of words that really stuck out to me when I was looking up carnal love or carnal relationships was um, highly sexualized and then also selfish. So if you think about today's society as a whole, it is very, very highly sexualized. And it's also very selfish. So when you bring those two together and two people together in a situation like that, it is going to be a disaster. And I'm sure many of you women yourselves can look back over your lives um, and see some of the carnal relationships that you have had that just didn't work out. And there's a few reasons why. Um, but I just wanted to give feedback on what a true relationship should look like and what are the components of a true relationship. And the very first one is, is that God has to be involved. God has to be involved in every aspect of your life, no matter what it is. So that is so key and important, you know, and especially with your relationships. And then the second thing is you have to have two people that are willing to find worth in each other. That means that I feel like you're worth me being selfless. And I feel like you're worth me sacrificing myself or dying to myself so that we can work together. And that needs to be two people. It can't just be one-sided. Many times we as women, we sacrifice and we give and we give and we give, but we're dealing with people, and I'm not just saying men, but even other female friends or family members that are not giving back. So that's not going to work. And I was just thinking, um, just speaking romantically, um, just to deal with the highly sexualized piece, one thing about sex. God felt like it was so special that he only wanted two people who are married, not just committed, oh, I'm committed to you, you're committed to me today, but have made a vow before him that, yes, we vow to love each other and we're committed to each other till death do us part. He found it so valuable that he just wanted it to be special between the, those two people. Now, in our society now, which is so sad, we have devalued sex. Sex is almost nothing, it seems like. You can go have sex with whoever, and it's nothing. So, if you think about adding sex into your relationship before you're married, you are actually tainting your relationship. You are tainting it. And for each person that you're having sex with, that you're not married to, you are giving a piece of yourself to them. And I'm sure if you really sit down and think about it, like I have, I've absolutely, I'm speaking about myself as I speak to you. But as I have sat down and thought about it, not only are you giving yourself away to that person slowly each time different people you're also gaining things from them that could be negative baggage just all kind of things so it is just so important that we ask the lord for discernment ask him who you should and should not be friends with who you should develop 
relationships with. And then also ask him who you should be dating. Lord, don't let me deal with this person if this is not the person you would have me be with forever. You don't want to just keep being in carnal relationships. I mean, that just wears on your soul. It wears on your body. It wears on your emotions. And ladies, if you are single, which is perfectly fine, what you can do is work on being a great friend. Work on being selfless. Work on your relationship with Christ. Work on being able to sacrifice yourself. Because those are all great attributes to a true friendship, which is the highest form of relationship. So that's my quick little tidbit talk on carnal relationships. And I hope it was insightful and helpful. And please check out our um, website, www.tidbitsforwomen.com. And um, provide feedback to us. It's all for you. God gave it to us. We're giving it back to you. So I just hope that this was helpful. You have a great night. Bye-bye.